This is the Elite Scout for Friday the 1st of November, 3310. Loot boxes could save Elite Dangerous in the short term. But Frontier Developments have a different idea that offers more long-term security. It's probably best to remember what loot boxes are. They're a way of buying digital items for cash, but buying them in the blind, not knowing exactly what you might get. For many, including myself, this is an insidious mechanism built around gambling, which can be addictive, expensive, and destructive. Loot boxes continue to be used throughout the modern gaming industry as a profitable revenue stream that creates a pay-to-win atmosphere to the frustration of many. As a publicly traded company, much of Frontier Development's financial performance is on show. Recent forays into licensed titles have been unsuccessful, and 2024's direction was sold to investors as a renewed focus on existing and established titles, including Elite Dangerous. And it would have been easy to go down the loot box style route. The game has multiple currencies, including arcs and credits, but also merits and power play, engineering materials, and specialist modules such as the rare pre-engineered Class 6A FSD that was offered just once as a community goal. All the ingredients for successful loot boxing are there. Yet Frontier decided to not go down the loot box route. Instead, they did something much more interesting. They trusted the community. They offered four new ships throughout 2024, and all would be available for in-game credits. But you could have early access to them by a few weeks for £10. And I see many online posting that they're buying these ships simply to support the game. That's £40. Through the year, that's the equivalent of buying the game again. It's not all roses, though. Frontier Developments jacked up the prices of many cosmetics, two or three times higher than at the start of the year, and they removed many cosmetic skins, including the single-colour Vibrant packs at 600 arcs beloved by many, including myself. Those skins came with the promise that they would be rotated in and out, but that fear of missing out, along with the inflation, is just sneaky. It added a sour note to the smart thinking around early access. But the new ships have given Frontier a new income stream from Elite Dangerous. More importantly, it's built a better connection between the community and the management. I await to see the next set of financials to see just how much of a positive impact the decision has delivered. This is the Elite Scout, signing out.